Hey guys, what's up? It's Noah here from YourApplePlace.com. Um, recently, uh, my time machine backups have been failing. And the reason is, is because somehow the disk changed to a non-writable, a read-only. Right there it shows it. I have no idea why this is happening because I personally didn't do it. Um, if I go up here to time machine it says that it's failed because it appears to be a read only so um I found out that you're gonna have to open disk utility so just hit spotlight just type in disk and it should be the first one that pops up And this is a very simple process. It doesn't take much to um, fix this problem. And what I've heard, it's very weird, and people don't even know why it even happens, but it does. So here I'm on my time machine backup on my external hard drive. Um, I have the time machine partition selected. And all I want to do is just hit verify disk. And what this does is it's going to scan the whole disk and it's going to uh, pretty much check each part of the disk. You know, is it displaying if I have 200 gigabytes left? Is it saying that's correct? It's going to check all of the permissions, which would be the read only and the write. Um, it's going to go through all that. And if you see, my estimated wait uh, time is five minutes. So. Um, I just went up to 10. I'll just cut this part out for you guys uh, when this is done and I'll show you uh, if it worked or not. So I skipped out the long boring part. It took about maybe 10, 15-ish minutes. Uh, so my time machine disk is back up and right now it's saying that it's fine. Um, I go to disk utility here. Um, checking journaled plus volume. Checking all the length files, the attributes, you know, all the volume information, and it's finished. So, let me hit back up now. And it looks like that was the moment of truth, and it was a success. So, that's all you guys need to do for that. If it ever happens to you, this was the first time it did happen to me, but um, it was it was a really simple process to do, and, you know, I've been reading all over the internet, and people just don't know what causes it. It just happens sometimes. So, um, that's all I have for you guys today. Just check out the website, yourappleplace.com, and subscribe to our channel for more um, updates on stuff like this as well as reviews and giveaways that we're going to do in 2011. Thanks for watching guys.